it'd, it'd be our dream to, to go to a, to a pub and say, you know, that, that beer was made with Wyoming malt. The malting process really is it's a value added process to an agricultural product. We've got barley farmers all over Wyoming that are growing a grain, it's going into truck and then it leaves the state. And so you get some value from that, but if you can take that grain and you can bring it to a place like Wyoming Malting Company, then you get the value of creating that malt and then that malt that malted barley goes to a brewery and then they create a beer and then that beer is sold and so you have three levels of value added processing and you've, you're generating the value, you're keeping that, that value generation here. And then once we have a product of malt, you know, we can sell it to local breweries, we can sell it to local distilleries and they can make their product and, and sell that as a locally made beer or uh, distilled spirit. We want more of that value added process done in Wyoming because that drives value to those communities as manufacturers grow. Um, they really produce that value that we need to keep the economic engine going as well as the diversity that we want. The craft brewing industry started, you know, say late 80s. It really boomed in the 2000s. Well, the, craft, the first craft maltsters really came around 2010, 2012. So we really are in the infancy of craft malting. The grains are going to be grown here locally. They're going to be malted here in Pine Bluffs. You know, hopefully we can sell to some of the, the Wyoming distilleries, sell to the Wyoming breweries. We can produce about 18,000 pounds of malted barley a week. If we were selling all that to Wyoming breweries, that would only satisfy probably about 33 to 40% of the malt that is used in Wyoming. And that doesn't even include the amount of malt that distilleries are using. There's plenty of room to grow just in the Wyoming market. We are gonna have a, a small distillery here on site. And as far as a quantity of grains used, it'll use about 8,000 bushels a year. Um, and that facility is also set up where we can triple production. This building that, it, that we have is fantastic and we'd love for people to come out and, and tour the malt house and learn more about the malting process and what goes into it. We encourage people to go across Wyoming and taste all these different products that are produced. You get to taste kind of that regional flavor, that, that difference that that uh, creates. The town is truthfully excited and, and eager to have a you know, another manufacturing facility in Pine Bluffs. We are going to try and bring more jobs to the town and, and create another outlet of, of uh, work for the, for the community.